Hi, my name is Terry Lee from Sweet Pea Papers, and it's September 2021. So we are finishing up our September daily a little bit late. I started recording these, I believe, on the 4th. And on Fridays, be sure to catch a page by page with Kyung Shotwell. We're making a um, second signature pretty soon, and we're making a page a week to go in it. Each signature is going to be 20 weeks long, so the whole thing is going to take almost a year to finish. And then at the end of it, we're swapping signatures. So be sure to catch that on Fridays on the Sweet Pea Papers YouTube channel. Okay, so like I said, today is the 30th. I don't know why I just kept saying 30. Um, and the prompt is insects. And we're using a kit by Taylor Made Journals. This is Mr. Black, my great big giant book. And um, he's gotten really, really fat, as you can see. Good thing we're on the last day, huh? And I've put a marker in so that we know where page 30 is. Okay, now this is what we're going to use, the pages. Now, let me first say that this is the second time I've tried to record this, and the first time there was no audio. So there are a couple of small things that are already done, but um, most of it we're going to be doing for the first time. Okay, so we're going to put a big envelope on, and we're going to hold it on with a doily and, and some magnets um, to this page. So this is our backing page. As you can see, the word dragonfly has already been glued on. We did that in the first try, um, and it's simple enough. I'm sure that you can glue a word onto this little backing thing. Now, I got the word from this page. This page originally had these two on it. They're the cards for the pockets, but um, the postcards, um, all four of them I thought would be too thick. I could have put two of the postcards in, but I really like the script on these. Um, I thought the vine on this one kind of looked like musical notes. And then I, I don't have no idea what that says. I'm not sure that anyone does. And uh, But I liked the writing. And I love toads and frogs. And then here's a butterfly on this one. Okay. A toad's not an insect. I realize that, but I like them anyway. So those are the two cards we're going to use for inside this ginormous envelope and the envelope once we fold it up is going to be held to the page by magnets um, that we're going to put in on the doily okay so you're going to need magnets you're going to need ink to ink everything up I'm using vintage photo you're going to need two circles um, you'll see in a minute why there's only one picture here um, the envelope from the kit, a couple of the images, either either the um, writing cards or the postcards. The postcards look like this. They're very pretty. They're a little bit bigger, not much, but these are the postcards. I love the tulip ones. And then there's this one. Not sure what that flower is. Kind of looks like a morning glory, but they're not you know what I mean? The thing isn't that there's no vine or anything, but the shape of it. And I know it's not, but anyway. And then this image has a dragonfly on it. If I think the magnet's strong enough, I might put this one in because the dragonfly matches the dragonfly, you know, on the envelope. So we'll see. He's a maybe. Okay, so let's set them out of the way. Now, this... Um, word and this little backing piece are separate in the kit so I glued this to this and then I glued this to the corner of this page this is our backing page it's very pretty and it's got the dragonflies that's why I selected it other than the fact it's very very pretty but um it it's got the dragonflies on it that match the dragonfly on the envelope okay so we did that in the first try and I apologize that uh, my mic was unplugged <laughs> anyway so the first thing is I used my brother scan and cut and some software that comes with it to cut out these two doilies this is the, what it looked like before this is what it looked like after looks like after I inked it let me this is our backing page as usual so you can see the difference before and after Okay, now in the first video, 
I had also already glued this on, so I'm not going to glue another one on top of it. We'll just say you can glue a circle in the middle of a doily and leave it at that. All right, so we're going to set this to the side. This is the page that I used out of the kit to cut the circles out of. You'll be able to find it by this writing here. You'll be able to tell. I wish I had gotten the circle up a little higher and grabbed the B. And I wish I hadn't just got the scorpion's bottom. So this one I may recut so that it's farther up and catches more of the flower. Um, I really don't want the centipede and I really didn't want the worm, part of a worm, as the picture. So I went, tried to go with the flowers. Like I said, I may redo this one. Then I have to print this page out again. Okay. So we, we did this. Now we're going to put a couple of brads in. And in the first video, I showed you how to poke the holes. You just take your pokey tool. Now this one is great. I got it from Lisa's Paper Lace and Bling, and I'll put a link below. And um, I'd like to thank Lisa for this. When she sent it, it came with a cork so that I didn't poke myself with the pokey tool. Um, because we all know I'm not allowed around sharps. Because <laughs> something always happens. Anyway, um, so we took our pokey tool. And we poked a hole in on each side where the white circle was on the uh, image. Okay, so we poked two holes. It's not that hard to figure out how to do that. Make sure you have something behind the paper, not your hand, but something behind the paper so that you um, don't damage whatever surface that you're working on. Little pieces of string from the tie around Mr. Black. Um, so that you don't damage the surface you're working on when you poke the, the hole in. I use a piece of styrofoam, but I need a thicker one because the pokey tool obviously can poke through. So I'm going to glue a couple pieces together and see how that works. All right, so we've done that and we glued the graphic on here. Okay, let me move this out of the way. So let me put this away. Um, you're going to need some magnets. You're going to need some ink to ink everything up. I've pre-inked everything except for the folds. Once we fold this, then we'll need to ink that. But I've already inked everything. Um, so you don't have to. <laughs> yeah, okay. So let's put this to the side as well. You know, you can save one of these. Um, as a stencil, if you have a, a scan and cut or a Cricut or whatever that you can cut out something like this, you can make your own stencils as well. You can use heavier paper. This is 65 pound paper. That's what I use for everything. Um, the link is below to um, the brand and, and the uh, weight that I use. <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, let me take a drink of coffee. I'm losing my voice this morning. Okay, um, you can save one as a stencil. It still didn't really help, did it? So I'm going to set the white one aside. We'll use the one I inked. And I glued this on. I'm going to glue this one on the back side. And you want to make sure that they're both facing the same way. So that would be up. And that would be up. And since I'm going to redo this circle, um, I'm not going to actually glue mine on in this video. We're just going to pretend like there's an image on this side. Are you guys good at pretending? Okay, pretend. Pretend like this is the first time I did this video. Okay. So to find the center of the circle, all you have to do is you see these. Let's try this again. There are places where this attaches, where these, where the lace part attaches to the circle. Just pick any two that are across from each other, line your ruler up, and draw a straight line across. Then take two more that are lined up and draw across there, and then where your lines meet is the center. Okay? And that's where we'll put our magnet. So let's put our first magnet on. Mm 
Oops, I had a broken piece at both ends. Let's put our center magnet on here. in the center. Okay, let's set our backing paper to the side. Let's set our envelope and the cards to the side and the word page because we're not going to use that. I've already done that part. Move our cards out of the way with our other circle. Okay, now let's go ahead and now that we've got that magnet on, I'll show you how to do the, the magnet on the back of the paper in just a second. I forgot to show you the brads that we're going to put on. This is a brad and it looks like this on the top and the back side has two little prongs. Let me show you on this one, they're open a little bit more. I've already put them on and then took the, I had to take them back off to redo it, but it's got two little prongs on the back. hope you can see them and then you just open them up and I'll show you you put the brad through the hole see if I can do this once they're already spread apart have been okay then you just spread them apart make sure that it's not going to show so we're going to spread these apart this way up and down you want to hold your thumb against the brad so it's against the paper open it up and then put your thumb on top and push down and that will flatten them out flat okay do the same thing on the other one and this will make it look like the there's um uh something you know holding it down that it's not just stuck on there okay so then we're going to open these up and with this one you just don't want it to turn around so you're going to take your thumb press down to make sure that these are open all the way and they're flat to the paper. Now to keep this one, to keep these from moving, I'm going to put a little piece of tape across each one. So we definitely don't want that one to turn while we're gluing it. I wish I had moved that over a little bit so it was a little farther away from the edge. I think I'm going to retape that so it's farther away from the edge so that when we glue we're not gluing over the tape. I'm going to put the tape a little bit closer over this way. And that gives us paper on the edge right there. Okay, so now you can see. Then it looks like it's a lot nicer looking than just the two white circles and it looks like someone you know kind of screwed something down and it makes a little depth to your page okay so now to find the center of the page on the back you're just going to draw a line from the diagonally and you don't have to draw the whole line you just have to make sure the line's going to go approximately through the center then you're going to take a ruler and you're going to do the same thing and draw a diagonal line where they meet is where your magnet's going to go. Ignore this circle. I just drew it on so I wouldn't forget to put the magnet on. So we're going to take our second magnet, put it right where they intersect. And you're going to put your tape on it. Try not to move it. Because we want our doily to be in the center of our page. Okay. So now double check while you still have a chance to move the magnet. Okay, that looks like it's in the center. If we turn it, you'll see that this line, this line, and that center line where it's going to look like a book all line up. So that means you're in the center. Kind of ignore um, the fact of the optical illusion because of the way the picture is and because of the way of the lace. Okay, so that's okay. So we'll set this over here. 
The next thing we're going to do, and I've already done it because we did it in the first video, but I'm still going to show you how. So we're going to score it with our scoreboard. Don't do it from this side and guess with the line. Just look on here and you can see there's a light tan line where you need to score it. So you're going to lay this on your scoreboard. Make sure that you've got the line lined up. And then just use your score tool and score it. And that'll make it easier to fold. Like I said, I've inked around the outside of this. Um, I think I could ink it a little bit more. Yeah, that looks better. I could have just waited. Because I have to ink up the... Um, oh, that doesn't really matter. It's going to be folded under. I'm not going to see it. I just want it to look a little more... Yeah. Okay, so then what you're going to do... Is you're going to fold this in. Use your bone folder and make the crease nice and sharp or the fold. Same thing here. Okay, you're going to fold the bottom up. Make sure these are lined up, the edges, in case you're just a little crooked with your scoring. Oh, and I printed this on both sides so that it would come out like this when you open it. You can use, um, like I said, I think I'm going to save this doily and use it as a stencil. Um, because and you could, So you could do that and stencil right around here with anything. You know, any kind of stencil. Leaves. Um, you could use a stamp of um, a butterfly or a dragonfly. A dragonfly would be nice. Okay, so now to glue this shut, you're just going to glue along here. You don't want to seal the envelope, so be careful and just glue. I mean, you don't want to make it shut to where you can't put anything inside. Well, we're going to seal it, but you know what I meant. You know what I mean. I'm just going to fold it up. A little bit of this shows at the top. So make sure that you um, don't glue too far. If you do, just take a dry wet wipe. Let the, it's a clean one, or it started out clean, and just lay it out and let it dry. They don't have lint. And then you can just wipe it off. Okay, then I think you can probably guess what we're going to do next, which is we're going to fold the top down, and we have a dragonfly. I would say line up his little body, and then burnish it, in case you were off by a little bit on your scoring. If you're off by more... You know, you have to be careful that you don't, um, you know, show the fold that you made, the crease that you made on the bone folder. Okay, we're done with the magnets. I'll put those away. Now let's ink this edge of the envelope on the front and the back. Now you can put something on the flap of the envelope to hold it shut. Um, it's not meant to fold inside, right? Because otherwise the body doesn't line up. I'm not going to do that because um, I don't want anything to block where my magnet needs to go through. 
okay so let's do this all the way around on the front there's a little tan line already there but can I accentuate it I think I did the top already I think it started with the top yeah okay and then flip it over and do the same thing now I've already done around this edge okay so all I need to do is this little fold edge here and across the bottom on this side okay so if you've already done all this ahead of time which I highly recommend then you're done with your envelope and you can put your card inside I'm going to try two. As you can see, this is an easy page to do. Thought we'd end off on an easier note than what we started. Did I put my cards in? Yes, I did. So now let's see if this magnet will hold this on. Why, yes, yes, it will. Okay. So let's glue this page onto our backing page. And then we'll put it in the book. I'm going to put you on hold for just one second. Okay, let's glue it on. Make sure to get some glue over that brad and along that little narrow edge of the paper that we left. Try not to glue your bone folder. That's always bad. Nothing good ever comes of that. I'm putting, it doesn't look like I'm putting that much glue on, but this little this line of glue is actually thick enough that when I put it down it spreads out and I put the little circles on the corner so that I have enough that I can kind of move it around a little bit so I've got a little bit of finagle room <laughs> I can finagle it around to make this little cover I just stuck a pin through a fake flower that way I can find the pin when it's laying around okay so let's glue this on here at this point there's no up and down let's just glue this on here try to center it the operative word being try so we've got that Now we glue this into Mr. Black after making another big mess. Now it might take you a little bit longer because part of this was recorded so I already had this cut out and glued and I already had the holes for the brads and I already had one circle on the doily so it may take a little bit longer for you to do it than this maybe another 10 minutes fortunately I hadn't gone any further before I realized what had happened okay we got page 30 da, 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 da. okay let's move this over to the side for a second I forgot to glue the page first ow he's very heavy I had somebody say they were so <laughs> amazed at how clean I keep my area but it's a curse it is it's a curse that I bear that everything has to be in its place and there's a place for everything you know one of those
Plus, Mr. Black is so big, how the heck would we fit him on the on the page? Remember to put a little extra over the the brads here. Now, for some reason, you had forgotten to put your magnet on. You could still put it on at this point. You could put it on the back of this paper. For like a really bad second there, I thought I had done that exact thing. Okay, now we're going to put it in Mr. Black. And this way there is a right side and a wrong side. So let's get him in here straight. Looks like I had a little bit of glue seep from the page before. Oh, it's because that one was really close to the edge and we had to trim it. Okay. And here's our envelope. Oh, <laughs> it with the magnet in it stuck it to the spiral. Okay. So let's put our dragonfly down. Let's put our magnet down with our flower facing up. And that's our page. Okay. And that's our page for page 30, for day 30. Here you go. And I was really glad that you guys came along with me on this. I had a lot of fun doing this book. And um, I will do another one, definitely. Um, I definitely will not use a spiral. Um, book, but I really loved working on the mixed media paper. So um, that's a thought for you to use a notebook. Um, you might want to take the spiral out, do page by page, right? And then um, tie it with ribbons. And then you would have a lot more or use the office rings if you could find them big enough. Okay. Um, I'm going to go back and I might put cream colored paper on each one of these, um, you know, uh, as writing space. Uh, but I haven't decided whether I'm going to do that or whether I'm just going to stencil the corners. I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do. So that's why we're not doing it today. Plus it's 30 pages and I don't think you want to watch me do that for 30 pages. All right. This is it for this series. Thank you very much for following along with me. And I will see you guys in the next video series, which is going to start in just a second for you and a day for me. Bye-bye.